I know these two have been playing for quite no a while. Hesitation. Actually. Game starts now. When Abbot first got here, uh, he was. Uh, he wasn't really like accepted as a high level player by a lot of people, not because you know he wasn't good, because people really didn't know who he was, but Luna or Lillian at the time was playing quite a bit with them. And they grinded quite a lot, so both of these players are pretty familiar with the other one's habits. And we're seeing the game be pretty even here. Going all the way under the stage again, trying to time out as much as limit as they can. Not wanting Bot to run away with it. And just to get all of it. Good on him. Down tilt into the throw conversion. Not good much. The stock isn't over yet. Oh, I did not. I forgot to I believe this is best of five. I could be wrong. I'm gonna update it like this. Getting that limit cross slash here, I have said it before, but a bot seems to use that way more than like most clouds I have seen. The last hit of Pikachu's back air is going to get Imran or caught there as he lets down his seal. All 11 hits of it going to. At 160, a bot's trying to make the most of the stock. If he can get like another conversion, no, he cannot. Right as I say it, dash attack steals the stock. Uh, sorry, Abad almost having limit here, having a pretty big percent lead, but it's not going to be closed up for... It's going to be closed up pretty quickly here, if the Luna has anything to say about it, finding all the damage that she can. She can, sorry. Cross-slashing the other direction, like 20% difference in these two players now. These two very light and cloud... Looking like he's been living a while here, you think with the recovery, he's stuffed out a little bit more, but as uh, the Luna has not been finding the early kills, so we'll see what happens. Quick attack, getting the Luna back on stage control, immediately giving it up with that side view down. Whipping the grab, he gets you just too short, cloud and shambles. Going for it, getting the edge guard. Luna having very little health left on this earth, life left on this stunt. He's going to try to get the most mileage that they can off it. 125, anything will do. On a dash attack, there you go. It's actually bad for the Luna because zero percent on a bot with almost a full limit. Back air, are we going to see a third? There we do. Takes it back. Nice and they're back on stage, but unsafe on hit. The Luna's gonna go all the way. Limit cross slash available here, but 43% in the hole and his limit. Now one can one back air. Can't let Pikachu buy with anything nowadays. Back air dash attack, evening up the percent almost exactly. Another rising back air. Are we gonna see the same kind of conversion we did last time? Missing the thunder. But still maintaining stage control. Missing the ledge trap. We're seeing Luna try to close it out here, not wanting to take any chances knowing how quickly that they've been killed. Back now, or down to the side. Trying to go all the way around, once again trying to stall out the limit as best as they can. Neutral air dodging and through- Oh, hitting the down air! You can't re-grab ledge against this man, this man will not let you. La Luna making a good show of it, but bot hitting, finding the last hit. Not gonna let any of it through. Hello. Hello. Have you come to kill commentary? Yes, sir. Sounds good. I was getting lonely in here. Oh, no worries. I There's got only you. so much empty space I can fill with my best brain. Oh, it's okay. I'm here to. I'm here to get carry commentary. Here, actually, uh, it's probably best if we just like slide that mic in to the both of us, and them. Otherwise, it, it will get really echoey. These mics are 
Uh, if you don't speak directly. Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. Alright. You wanna go with a... Nah. Alright, perfect. Yes. So, what are your thoughts on these two players? Uh, well, I know that Molinoa is a very good player, and I know that Abat is also a very good player. Uh, Abat is kind of crazy. Just, like, does... No, he's not kid. Just does crazy shit, and it works. Um... Lola Noah, on the other hand, I have not seen a ton of their play style or a ton of them playing recently. But they I they haven't been doing very well recently. They were number two on Wisconsin PR pre quarantine, and it looks yeah. like they're finally getting back to their old self. Uh, a bot, on the other hand, is a Wi Fi warrior and has been playing throughout the entire thing. And I think he's finally been able to show off his stuff, and he's really happy about that. So. Yeah, I've, I've watched a lot of a bot play, and. It's kind of nuts how he just does the does crazy things with swords and going into game two, I saw the ending of game one and it's really, I'm really interested to see how this goes because Lil, Lil No has been playing incredible today, beating Comet and now coming here to try to, and coming to winners. That's winter one of the reasons why they were actually number two was because they do pretty well against Comet. But, you know, a bot's a different monster. You have to play the spacing game versus him, and that's never a fun thing to do. He just is so oppressive at closing out neutral exchanges, does everything he can to pressure you, and, you know, we're seeing them close out how much damage, and a bot just takes it and attacks him once or twice when the game's over. Pikachu just being so light, they can't sustain much damage here. Yeah, for sure. It's it's also just really difficult to hit Pikachu from t sometimes, but at the same at the same time, Abad is really good at maximizing damage output, and it's really it's really fun to watch Abad do things with sword characters, unlike any unlike a lot of players that I've seen uh, play the game. And game two, very very close between the two of them, and pretty f interesting to see who will take the first stock here. And it's looking Harry, like the last hit of that cross lash. Good stuff. Indeed, and it's I, no one wants to lose their stock right now, so it's gonna come down to a uh, nice spike. Saw that a lot. Saw that in game one, ending that, and oh, very close to the the slash right there. Not quite taking the stock. <laughs> Lolanar not wanting to approach now. Sword, big sword. Lolanar. Lolanar. Okay, Lolanar. Yeah, taking the first stock, but I feel like that was a dash attack. I probably spelled it wrong. Uh, it's on the. It's just on out right there. Okay, Lolanar. I can do that. I well, no, sorry, nothing wrong with you. I was misinformed, and I'm going to better myself. Hello, hello. There we go. Fixed it, my literate ass. <laughs> so we're seeing Lolano go up uh, full stock, or uh, part of stock here, trying to get as much damage as they can with the last little bits of their stock. Pikachu very capable of just taking Cloud, especially off stage, hitting him a few times and then get games good. Yeah, but now Lola is is doing crazy things, get, maximizing their damage output, getting a lot, 86% now on a bot who's still struggling to get, get this stock off of them. Yeah, kind of just claws way through. For whatever reason, Pikachu is yeah, just not dying. Point. Yeah, Pikachu is really hard to hit, and so if you're only trying to hit a few certain moves that end up killing, very difficult a lot of the time. That's <laughs> what. What's a bot got to do to get this stock? He's honestly, at this point, just get a straight hit. But Lola Noah, honestly, about to kill with that dash attack. That back air, very close to killing as well. Turn that very small lead into, you know, almost a full stack here. On shield, uh, the last hit across left. You can't do that. Got to hold shield, but that might have poked. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of things that could have gone wrong there. But still, Lola Noah in a very good situation right very now. Up kill, not going for the up smash there. I'm not sure if it was a missed input or just didn't think it would connect. But finding the dash attack regardless, going up a full stock here on game two. Yeah, so Lola Nola can kind of just sit back, relax, and Pikachu combo with the hell out of Cloud. But Cloud is not going to... Cloud can up B out of some of those things, so... A bot trying to claw his way back into this game. Quite a mountain to climb. Oh, Lola Nola SD helping out a bot with that comeback, and now a bot can... Kinda just, never mind, get Pikachu comboed into death, 50%, not quite, but limit, 
forcing t forcing a bot to use limit on the up B instead of another uh, instead of anything else, which I'm sure a bot would have liked to. I'm actually wondering if this game is going to go to time because like Lolano has two stocks left that with the three minute mark, but look at how quickly those all exploded. Yeah, those stocks exploded, and Lola Noah now with almost putting 100% almost on a bot, and a bot struggling to get any hits on Pikachu. Getting a grab, but not gonna get too much damage out of that because Pikachu is very easy to get out of combos. He's very light, he can just EI out and avoid a lot of combos from a lot of different characters. Oh, finding the cross slash, being 23% here, finding another one, another 20 some percent, almost having limit again. This isn't what you want if you're low Manoa. You, you had a lead and you're, it's going away slow, slowly, it's slipping out of your grasp. And yeah, you want to close it out while you still can. You gotta do whatever you can to make a bot use this up, use this limit on up being and nothing else. Cause getting hit by anything but up B, oh never mind, using it on the neutral beat. And now Lola Noah is struggling to get back on stage, struggling to get some footing. But this, these dash attacks, very dangerous, not gonna kill, kill quite yet, maybe another 20%. But still, a lot of things that Abat has to look out for. Yeah, both of these characters having very strong dash attacks that can kill you. Having a burst option like that that can just end your stock is so scary. That back air scooping, not quite killing, gonna do... Quite easy. Abat kind of letting Alola Nola getting back to stage for free, but that back air sending him straight off again. And a little hasty on the limit unleash, if you ask me, but... A bot now at 146%. Both characters at very high percents dying to any straight hit right now. Both having a little bit of rage. Pikachu being on the lighter side. I'd say that like it takes the same amount of hits at the corner. Yep, that will do right it. at the edge there. Yep, and that's going to do it. Antsy. It almost looked like it, was, it, it slapped away from Lolano. Or it slipped away from Lolano's grasp. But right at the end there. Watching it all come back. Yep, and now we got a game three. For our first best of five set of the night. Love to see it. We love to see some intense gameplay yeah. back and forth between the two and the three, two and the four seed. Uh, no, it's four and nine actually. Lola Noah's the nine seed. Yeah, Lola Noah hasn't been doing. I'm not reading. Oh, yeah, I'm not reading that right then. Yep. it's a little far away from me. Could be give me some credit. <laughs> yeah, losers bracket is an absolute gauntlet. Oh yeah, look at all the ups that have. Posse single-handedly took out. Uh, Baron and Maiden. Yeah, Baron and. And I don't really want. I don't really call that set with Maiden taking them out. I mean, that was a that was a fun set that those two decided to play. I believe that they were both trying their best, and that they were trying to play on uh, stages they believed were competitively high. All right. It had all complete competitive integrity there. All right. All right. Back to game three. Uh, we got FD. Probably a better stage for Cloud than it is for Pikachu. So Pikachu doesn't get all of those continuations off of combos, and it gives no platform uh, resets. I'm gonna find a fancy here. Uh, yeah, that up be not really doing anything. Not the second one, but I'm getting punished too incredibly hard for it. No, that that second one coming in right there, that is going to give a bot some presence. But Lola Noah kind of just running around and jumping all over a bot, and a bot not really having that much of a. Uh, having a bigger bottom, harder to stall like that as Pikachu on a stage like this. Yeah, so now what is... Now with the set even at 2, it does turn into a best of 3 now. Lola Nola kind of taking control of that last game and it... This is as even as it comes as far as the set goes. A bot... Lola Nola will gain a lead and then a bot will kind of just storm back with these big hits and big hitboxes. But Lola Nola has, for, mo for the most part, gained or stayed in control of this game, of this no, set. Right yeah, but this is... Oh, missing the air dodge and that's gonna be an SD. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you... Uh, can... Calling out an air dodge and getting an up smash, where to go, a bot? It doesn't matter if Pikachu can dance around hits for three years. The second you get hit by that sword once, you're gonna get smacked for all your worth. And, yeah. and you're gonna die. And now back at even stocks, and here's another combo, missing the Nair conversion, but we are still going to see 13%. And now it's back to even with one up air. Let's go, Cloud. Yeah, uh, Pikachu's just going to have lower damage on their moves in general as a combo-oriented character. Not exactly meant to be smacking people like Ganondorf, but Cloud somehow sneaking his way through with that giant sword, still getting some moves that do 20 plus damage. Yeah, and massive hitboxes doing Cloud a lot of favors. 
and ooh, right, drag thunder, there. but not the second hit of it. Yeah, and both of these players are just running, are just coming back after going down. Like a deficit is never safe in this matchup. They're both comboing so well and converting off of each hit, and catching the down B, catching the up B. Nice S smash. His voice cracked. Yep. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even catch it, but that S smash is gonna end it just as quickly. I mean, even it up. Is one of the one of the stronger ones in this game. It's actually stronger than Mario's F smash, I believe. Or that might be Smash Four knowledge, but it, it, for as much range and how active that move is, it does way too much damage. It kills way too early. Uh, Taking forty two percent here at the start. Oh, the nice trick. Um, yeah, that up has a thing or two to say about getting comboed. And now the back air into, okay, forcing a bot into using the limit slash. We haven't seen a bot connect too many of the limit moves. I've seen a limit cross slash happen once or twice, but I haven't seen a bot connect too many others. So, uh, a bot has it, Luna starts going under the stage or playing in the corner or anything they can to wait up 15 seconds. And a bot really haven't, hasn't been able to find it when Luna is trying to counterplay it as much as they have been. Not by the fighting the roll read with the up smash, Laluna going up on game three. That means even if a bot takes it back, Laluna will have the counter pick on game five. Yeah. So this is that's very important to determine things like this. Yeah, this is a this is turning into quite a fun set. Lulanola looking priming themselves for a winner's finals appearance. Yeah, it very well could be. And you know, if he does, Toland's Yoshi playing. Oh, Tolan yeah, no. Hatsi Tatsi. Well, if Tolan gets through, Tolan... I'm sorry, Pikachu Yoshi is not the most fun matchup. No, I've, I, oh, we're seeing imagine. the switch to Roy? We are seeing the switch to Roy. Actually, the... Actually, so if a bot ends up winning this, a bot is notoriously strong. It, it is round five. Alright, so... If, uh... Baluna wins this. Trying to fight Tolans is going to be an uphill battle because Tolan is a very strong player playing a winning matchup here. But a bot, for whatever reason, just has the download on Tolan. If the bot makes this through, there's really? a very good chance he can find it in winner's final. Oh, yeah. a bot's got to take him two games off of yeah, this Pikachu games. who's comboing him to death right now. And all right, Lola Nolo kind of going crazy on this Roy. A bot's Roy is something else. Like we saw, we saw a bot's Cloud do some crazy stuff, but this Roy is absolutely cracked. Like I've seen a bot do things that I haven't seen any Roys do. And he just yeah, it's the character he picked up during the Wi-Fi era. He used to be a Cloud one trick, and through Wi-Fi he decided to play Cloud. And I know he's been trying to commit himself to more Cloud, and he said I'll play Roy if I want to turn my brain off. But I'm not sure where a bot's looking at here. That's a very uh, that's a very Roy player thing to say. Just turn your burn off, swing the sword, and it kills. Also being uh, smaller and quicker and having and having those nicer hitboxes for Roy uh, is a nicer is a much nicer matchup against Pikachu, who is very difficult to hit and is and can combo you just as well. Yeah, the thing is Roy falls faster than Cloud does, so I can imagine that the drag down combos might be more devastating versus them. Uh, versus uh Versus Pikachu. Pikachu, yep, sorry, thank you. And so we haven't really seen much of that come to fruition, but I can also imagine that like Oh he's crazy. he's dead. No, he can make it back if he doesn't get back. No, but he's he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Now, he's <laughs> now he's dead. Lola Noah not one to miss that opportunity. No, and right, another back air combo? Up air? Okay, up air to try it. Up air to try to find the continuation, but a back air might have just been better. It, is, it was safer to do it though, but now another back air, reading the roll, but getting S smashed on the dash attack attempt. Yeah. We got even stocks said it before that it's one of the keystones of high level neutrals, run back S smash. Think your opponent's gonna run in at you, just hack him for it. Yeah, and it worked. And now Lola Nola does not want anything to do with this second stock, taking it with an F air off of the side. F air? Order. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> They just haven't heard really anyone call it a F air in a long time. Oh, there's that, there's that up beat us to... Nah, Almost know what? finding that cheese edge guard, but still maintaining all the momentum here. If a bot wants his spot back, he's gonna have to change some serious things. Yeah, the, uh, but Roy, very good at comboing to death, and very good at finding cheeky kills. So, with a dash, or with an up, Double or the tilt. With a jab, it's very easy for Roy to even up a stock. Like a jab to back air will kill at this percent. But you gotta hit it first, so 
Good DI for Lola Noah. Good air dodge to get out of that down B. And now a bot staring death in the face, and that F smash is gonna take it. You know what I was saying with the bot saying run back F smash? Well, Lola Noah is taking a lesson out of his own book here. Taking it for it. That was three. Yeah.